Yo, what is going on everybody, it's Booker Fred back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what you need to know before you buy 2022 Panini Select Baseball. So let's get right into the video. But before we get into it, let's plug the giveaway as usual. We're giving this box away of 2022 Bowman. All you guys have to do to win this is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications for all the content here on the channel, and comment who you think is going to represent your favorite team in the All-Star break this upcoming July. The MLB released their uh, list today of the top 10 for each position. And to my surprise, no Pirates are even close. All-Star voting is rigged. Like Tatis, who hasn't even played a single inning this year, is the fifth in the National League, which makes zero sense. All-Star voting is really just popular vote, really. Um, now, some deserve that, but some others don't. It's just how it is. So, enough of that. Uh, and one more thing before we uh, get into it. Look what came in the mail today for me. Uh, my brother was generous enough to give me one of these. He had a bunch of them today. We got a blaster box of Prism. This is all the rage, guys. Everyone's just beating each other up and cussing at each other and camping out at Walmarts, pitching a tent, getting the lawn chairs and everything for this release. Uh, <laughs> guess what, guys? My brother opened like four of these. We got five today. We have like another like five coming or six coming or something like that. And all of his were crap. Like there was like nothing in them that were like any good at all. So I'm going to keep that sealed probably just to say I have one. Um, probably not going to buy any more, honestly. I don't really collect football setters that. So now let's talk about Panini Select, which comes out June 24th, guys. So a lot of you guys may be saying, well, why are you uploading the video on the 23rd or the uh, 22nd tomorrow when typically you upload it the day before? Well, I also want to do a top five for this release. The checklist is a pretty lengthy checklist. And there's some, there's a pretty good amount of rookies in that checklist to the point where I could say, yeah, I can make a, a top five for this release and, you know, get away with it in a video. So be on the lookout for that. That is tomorrow's video, top five most valuable in Panini Select. So without further ado, let's get into what you need to know. So basically, I already said it. The release date is June 24th. I believe that is a Thursday because that's my grandfather's birthday. Um, now, some LCSs may get this in on Wednesday. Others, like my LCS typically, uh, won't get this in until probably Friday. So just depending on what your LCS does and gets them, you know, some people on the East Coast may get them later than the West Coast. I saw... Sometimes West Coast gets the hobby boxes and things like that earlier. So, you know, maybe, you know, your LCS will start selling these on Wednesday. Maybe they'll have them on release day. Most will. And some, like myself, will have to wait until um, the Friday. So now let's talk about the price. The price is actually pretty pretty affordable for what you get in this box. So we're looking at a $150 price point for this select release. Now, you get 60 cards in the box. You get... Uh, 12 packs with five cards a pack that rounds out to 60 cards in the box for $150. So let's talk about the checklist. Well, not in full, but we're going to, you know, talk about a little bit of it. So the checklist is a 300 card checklist. So what this is, is every a hundred. So one, like card one to card a hundred card one on one to card 200 in card 201 to 300, or they're all they're like different tiers. I know the very top tier is diamond. I don't remember what the other two tiers are called, but it goes by tiers. And I don't know how, like, I think some are more rare than the others. So I think like card 201 to 300 of the diamond level, I think those are more rare than like the ones that are from 1 to 100, I think. I don't know. I'm not too big of select guys. So maybe some of you football and basketball guys out there. Uh, can, uh, you know, teach me about this stuff. I have honestly no clue. I think they're more rare than the others, so I'm not too sure. So, yeah, there's a 300-card checklist, and obviously the two big rookies in this checklist, uh, to no chagrin, are O'Neill Cruz and Wander Franco. We'll get into that tomorrow, though. There's going to be a full top five video. A lot of good rookies from Series, uh, basically, every rookie you would think of in Series 1 and kind of in Series 2, uh, tops are in this release. No Bobby Witt, no Julio, though, or no Torkelson. None of that. I'm surprised a lot of these companies aren't putting them in releases. I have no idea why. Uh, maybe this stuff was printed um, before opening day. 
Because a lot of these players, actually, I don't think there's any player actually on the checklist who actually made his debut after the season started. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Juan Yepes was in there, so maybe that could uh, slide, but I don't know. So now let's talk about what you get in a hobby box. So I talked about you get 60 cards, but I didn't tell you this. You get two autographs and two mems per box. So four hits all together for $150. So now with that out of the way, let's talk about whether or not I think this is worth it or not. And actually, guys, I, I think this is worth it. I think this is going to be a very, very, very good release. Um, this is very similar to what Panini released the other week was Absolute Baseball. Now, I unfortunately haven't been to an LCS because you guys know I haven't been feeling too well. Um, Absolute literally released as I got sick. And now this is coming out. And the funny thing is, is they're both $150 each. So they're both equally as good. Like if I had to tell you if you had to buy Absolute or Select... I honestly couldn't tell you. But if you like chromed cards and like chromey looking cards, uh, I would go with Select. I think I've there's a couple videos of Select out there, right? I think there's like three of them. I watched two of them. The cards look a lot nicer than Absolutes, but again, I think Absolute you get five hits. And in this one, you only get four. So again, you know, they're the same price point. What do I recommend? I recommend you grab a box if you can afford two, maybe two. Um, you know, a lot of these players in the autograph checklist are going to be rookies. It's like, like 80 or 90% are probably going to be rookies. There's a 10% or a little margin of them in there that are like veteran players, of course. But the majority of the people in the autograph and mem checklist, um, there'll be some veteran players in the memorabilia checklist. That's not that, that's not the issue. But in terms of autographs, I mean, it's going to be rookie players. I don't think I've ever opened a Panini release of baseball and have gotten a veteran player. I think literally every single time, whether it was like a blaster auto, a hobby box auto or whatever, it's always been a, a rookie player of some sort or like a, a prospect player of some sort, which isn't bad because I actually recommend those because, you know, their stock can go up and, you know, and you can have a really good card in the future. Like perfect example. I, I have an Adolis Garcia autograph right here from 2022 Series 2. Back when he was with the Cardinals, he was awful, but he seemingly turned it around with the uh, Rangers. It was an all-star last year. So, like, things like that, you know, that that you don't think the player will do well, but all of a sudden they just sprout out and just break out and have a great season and then other stuff goes up. So, you know, guys, let me know what you think about Panini Select. I will be grabbing a box if I could find one. Hopefully I can go to my LCS this weekend and pick one up. Uh, if they're there, and uh, obviously you'll see it if I have it. So, guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.